Hi guys, in this video I'll show you how to use some of SMG's advanced features. Um, yeah. In the introduction video we've showed you how to use SMG. Um, this is the SMG interface. And as you can see it has some more tabs that we haven't discussed yet. So this tab is the main tab where you can select your music player. And then just start it and as you can see there are a lot of applications supported and I will keep adding more and more if you ask for them at least. Um, here in options tab you can change your output direction, just click this button, uh, select a folder and click OK. And here, because there are so many and more and more and more, you can select one player and just disable it. This is the dis disabled uh, field and this is the enabled field. So just disable, 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 disable all of them except for FUBAR because we are great FUBAR fans as you know. And here only FUBAR shows up. Uh, if you want some more, if you want them back, just click this button, click button, click button. And now as you can see it just uh, enables or disables current uh, um, some, <coughs> sorry, it disables and enables uh, some applications. Now, uh, a more recent feature is to edit your output. Let's say um, you're a streamer, you have a small output uh, resolution and you don't want your text to scroll or, yeah, you don't want your text to scroll, but you want to uh, have it overlap on multiple lines. Uh, overlap, I mean wrap over multiple lines. You can do this in OBS, but in some cases it's just useful to edit your text. So, here is a text preview and as you can see if I type something it will appear in here. And the preview is just what it should look like with actual music playing. So let's select Spotify. Unfortunate that I removed Spotify. Spotify, sorry. Spotify start and as you can see it added that text to the beginning of the file. Uh, you can disable it, enable it, and it sh it's saved, uh, it's, nah. what's in these boxes will be saved if you close SMG, so you don't have to type it in uh, all the time. Uh, the after box, in the after box uh, you can type something and it should appear after the text. The filter, uh, you can just type something to filter something. If Let's say you hate spaces. I do not recommend it because songs will look really, really bad. But yeah, you can add a space or what if you want to uh, remove these things, what are they called? Uh, scores, no, lines, just these lines. You can do that or this. You can just remove whatever you want. Um, if you want to remove multiple values, uh, like separate values, you can do that as well. With this text, uh, just separate them with commas. Um, I did that wrong actually. Do not use uh, spaces because it will look for the exact thing you type in. So if you type in space text, it will look for the space text. Not text, but space text. So make sure you type text if you want to remove text. So that's the filter function and last but not least is the replace function. So you can replace text uh, with some other text of your choice. So let's say you want to replace uh, this little line here. So press space, uh, line space and let's uh, replace it with a double thingy. That's it. So if you want to do more, replace more things like, uh, oh wait, what the, f <laughs> that was odd. Cool, you can do that. I didn't know. All right. Uh, let's say you want to replace fake album with uh, real album. So you can do that. And you can be creative and do whatever you want with this. Uh, I recommend using these features because they will usually just make your text look worse. But in some cases it will be very useful. And now for the last tab, there's the update tab. Just press check for updates and it says if there is an update. And in this case there are no updates because, well, I didn't update it. 
So that's it for this video. Uh, I will have one more video which um, explains to you some very advanced features with configuration. Thank you for watching and I hope you like my video. Um, yes, if you have um, any questions or have some feedback for me or anything at all, you can send me an email or reply to the YouTube video or uh, reply to the OBS thread. I'm not active on the XSplit forums, so if you do use XSplit, uh, please do not uh, comment on there. Thank you very much for watching and until next time.